exciting adventure. April saves a young woman from an angry crowd, only to discover that she's Jesse's girl. Who does he really love? Does he only love himself? A daring escape, a shootout, a dash for freedom. Can the Star Sheriff stop the ominous Range Ripper in time? Find out on this incredible adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. General Whitehawk first told us about Trista. Bad news, my friends. The Outriders are building a Range Ripper. I was briefed about them, General Whitehawk, and I'm told they're even more powerful than Renegade units. But if it's not finished yet, perhaps we could put it out of commission. I hope so. Jesse Blue's in charge of the Range Ripper. And he's had a girl named Trista helping him. They're on New Wichita. On our way! Good luck. We soon learned that things in New Wichita had become desperate. Crowds gathered in the streets, angry because their best scientists and engineers had been captured and taken into the Outrider command base. Husbands, brothers, sons and fathers were kept incommunicado to work on the secret Outrider battle machine, the Range Ripper. Well did ride, Fleshling. My lovely Range Ripper is almost done. You seem to be in a good mood, Gaspar. I'll be in a better mood when it's finished. We can conquer the whole new frontier with the Ripper and get rid of all these humans. You don't like humans, do you, Gaspar? I understand. You know, you got all those messy emotions to deal with. Yeah. Well, guess what? I'm a human, and I'm your commanding officer. So you think you can handle that? Jesse, it's time for your staff meeting. Oh, I'll follow your orders to the letter, Commander Blue, without hesitation. Good. I'll get rid of him. Gaspar wants my job in my head. I like that about him. Oh, Jesse, why'd you say that? Because it's true. I always tell the truth, okay? Especially to you, Trista, because you're my girl. You do believe me, don't you? Yes. Hey, look over there, Noah. Ah, it's my niece. Her name is Trista Derringer. She was born here in New Wichita. Her family was among the first settlers on the new frontier. She grew up here when there was nothing more than a couple of shacks and a livestock corral. Trista was trained as a security agent, top notch, until the Outriders showed up. At first she was against them like everybody else. So why'd she go and change? I'd like to know that myself. One day they found her car all smashed up, and the next thing you know, she's Jesse Blue's girlfriend. Jesse's evil, but very charming. And love is quite <gasps> unpredictable. Yeah, well, he sure got Trista charmed. Uh, speaking of charm... No. Forget it, Colt. I was just gonna offer to meet the little lady. If he charmed her away, I'll just charm her back. She's already got boy trouble. She doesn't need more. I'll go undercover and make contact with her. All right, April. You be the one to make contact. But I still want to meet her someday. Come on, Trista. Are we going someplace important, Jesse? Of course we are. Every place I go is important. Well, I mean, um... It's important because of you. Oh. You're not like other people. And neither am I. Why, Jesse? Because we're better. Most people just want to be normal. What a pitiful ambition. I want to be great. And you, Trista, you can be great with me. Of course, anyone who gets in our way will have to be eliminated. I mean, you can't be soft-hearted. You understand? Yes, Jesse. Good. You and me, kid. Oh. That's the brain that runs the Range Ripper. Come on. 
Let's blast it good. All right, I got the bomb right here. All right, hold <sighs> it. Trista. What do you have in your hand, Zeb? A bomb. A what? They took us all prisoners. They're making us work like slaves, and it's only gonna get worse. With that range ripper, they can take over all of New Wichita. We gotta stop them. We're gonna blow it sky high. You try it, and I'll blast both of you with this stun gun. What are you talking about? You're my niece. I knew you when you were a baby. Now come on, Trista. Stand out of the way. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do it. Yeah. Uh. You drop that stun gun right now, you hear me? Whoa. I can't stand up. Hold it. They blacked out. Uncle Noah, Aunt Rachel, Bobby, and Pat? Are they just little people like Jesse says? Look, your uncle's already back on the job, so what's the big deal? I just feel bad, that's all. He's my uncle, and now he's being forced to work here. Little people don't get the big picture, so you have to force them. I know, but it still makes me feel funny inside. He had a locket with him. I'd like to give it back to my Aunt Rachel. Don't go soft on me now, Trista. If you want to be great, you have to think great. I do, but, well, it wouldn't hurt anything. All right, go ahead. Make it quick. Thanks, Jesse. It shouldn't take very long. Trista! I brought you this, Aunt Rachel. Oh. Noah's all right. They took him away, like a slave. And you call that all right? Trista, what's happened to you? Don't you know what you're doing, girl? Don't you know what they want? I know what they want. They want to take over this planet. But then there'll be nothing left but cactus and tumbleweeds. They've taken oh, away our husband. fathers. Our brothers. Let me get you my don't husband. understand. You're just little people, so you don't see the big picture. I'm not going to leave me at home with a bunch of hungry mouths to... Oh, oh you Huh? Huh? This scene is like a real drag. Totally. Who asked you? Yeah, where'd you come from? You're acting like so uncool. I mean, why get up tight when you can go to the beach and drive around listening to like really loud music? They're taking people away. They're building machines. Oh, I'm sure the people running things know what they're doing. Why fight it? I mean, it is such a pain even thinking about all that stuff and you could be having fun instead. Come on. Oh, thanks. I like your clothes. Where did you get them? Haven't I seen you before? Uh, maybe. I don't care if you have or not. That's it! Right. Right. Don't let me get away! Get turned out! Yeah. Yeah. Your mama, Chris, is your funny Oh, yeah. yeah, come on, get out of here! <laughs> get a moment! Hey, Mr. You really helped me out back there. What's your name? They call me Delilah Wilder. You want to be friends? <laughs> I think we already are. My name's Trista. You go to school or work? I work for the Outriders. Who are they? They sound like a rock group or something. I'm really not supposed to talk about them, but I can trust you. It's a very secret operation. I'm going to their headquarters now. You want to come along with me? <laughs> it's working, a personal invite. What do you say? Totally. All right, here we go. Hold for vehicular inspection. Who's that? My friend. Her name's <coughs> Delilah. <clears throat> like, hi. She's coming in with me. Not so fast, fleshlings. Sounds like trouble. Let's try the ID scanner. Find out if you're really who you say you are. If you're not, this machine will know it. I said she's my friend. Now, you want to let us drive through, or shall I tell Jesse you're giving me a hard time? You mean Jesse Blue? Right. Oh, that's okay. You, you can go on through. Let me talk to the trailer boss. There it is, our secret project. What's that? A Range Ripper. If you want to be great, Delilah, you've got to think great.
We've got big plans, big dreams. Jesse says the new frontier is obsolete. The vapor trail's the way of the future. Little people don't count. Only great people are really important. That sounds way cool, but how can you tell? What? The great people from the little people. I mean, would I like be a great person or what? Uh, well, of course. I mean, you're my friend, Delilah. I'm sure Jesse will like you. Anyway, we're gonna leave this place, you know. He's gonna take me to the vapor zone. He promised. Jesse says it's very romantic. You know, I really like talking to you, Delilah. It's nice to have a friend again. Since I came here, Jesse's been my whole world. He's really cute. Yeah? You really think so, Delilah? Station 412. Oh, hi, Jesse. Yes, I'll be right there. I won't be long, Delilah. Now promise me you'll stay right here. Okay. He really does have something special. Poor Trista. Can you hear me, boys? I found the blueprints. We're right here, April. Tell us what you've got. Where's the Range Ripper? We'll need the specs. Right. That transmission is coming from your office. Who are you hiding, Trista? It's just my friend, Delilah. Does she always send secret messages? I'm sure she's just playing the radio or something. You are, huh? You know what happens to spies around here, Trista. So uh, you better be telling the truth. Bring her to me. Now. Right. Delilah? Delilah? Delilah! My friend. She's gone. He's the only one I can count on. And Jesse. I remember when we met. Oh! Oh. Hey, take it easy. Oh. I was just trying to help you out. You're an outrider. Well, not quite. But we're on the same team, so go ahead and shoot. I mean, I'll probably get blasted someday anyway. It might as well be by someone pretty like you. I'd rather get to know you. I feel faint. Your life's about to change, Trista. You're gonna be Jesse's girl now. Jesse's girl now. Jesse's girl now. I'm on your side, Jesse, no matter what. It's pretty strange. It's just kind of crazy. Andale, amigos. Let's hit it. This way. Hey, get in here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Delilah, or whatever your name is. I'm April. I'm a member of the Star Sheriffs. What? Sorry I fooled you, but those men had to be freed. I thought you were my friend. I guess that doesn't mean anything to you. It does. I'd like to be your friend, but Jesse's got you wrapped around his little finger. He's been lying to you all along, Trista. I don't believe you. You're just jealous. You like Jesse yourself. You're my enemy. No. Yes and I'm going to do exactly what Jesse would want me to do. Trista, you're going to regret this for the rest of your life. <sighs> Forget it. Jesse! You don't have what it takes, Trista. You're just one of them, the little people. Here. No, Jesse, I'll do it. I'm still your girl. Don't make me laugh. You were never my girl. I was just leading you on. <gasps> Remember that flat tire you got? Little accident? 
That was no accident. I shot your tire. Hey, it was a risk, you know. I figured if you survived the crash, it'd be all mine. No, why are you saying this? I don't believe it. Believe it. So, you want to know who I really love? That's right, Trista. It's April. She's the only one I ever cared about, but she didn't think I measured up, did you, April? So, I guess this is the end of our romance, huh? <gasps> no! Star shares! Everybody freeze! He's got a blaster! Trista. Trista, are you all right? Yes, thanks. You're with real friends now. Come on! Well, welcome back, team. Yeah! Team! All right! Whoa! Time for the big guy! Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head up, up, move them out. Power stride and ready to ride. All right, team, get ready for the great leap forward. Block and connect. Fix for blades. Dodge. We've been hit from behind. <laughs> now let's let our friend absorb the blast. Great. I blasted my range ripper. You win, April. It's Trista's scarf. She has disappeared, April, without a trace. She must have run away because she was afraid. Yeah. I understand, Trista, but I know you'll be back someday. And we'll get together once again. And when we do, we'll become true friends. 